Viridian 28 is a two-storey home that's been designed for those with a smaller block but who still really want to have that wow factor in their home. From the very moment you walk through the front door, everything is so elegantly appointed. You're greeted by a beautiful staircase which conceals the open foyer area and that naturally leads through to the heart of the home. It's completely surrounded by glass that not only lets in an enormous amount of natural light but also frames the relaxing water feature in the adjoining courtyard. Boutique glam, that's how I would describe this home. It's moody, rich, sophisticated, all at the same time. And it feels like you've just checked into a ritzy New York hotel. You've kicked off your heels and you're ready to relax in those pure silk pyjamas. My favorite space in this home is the master bedroom. Yes, it's elegant, it has its own private balcony, but it's also quite well defined and quite spacious and that walk-in wardrobe is to die for. Speaking of favourite places, how can you go past the incredible dining room with its huge double storey void? If the double storey ceiling height wasn't enough to open up your appetite, what about the fact that it opens out and overlooks the beautiful water feature in the courtyard and boasting its own private terrace? That's what I'd like to call the ultimate dining experience. Timber, stone and glass, it's a combination that works and it's a combination that will last the test of time. As you walk into the kitchen you'll see a glass window splashback, there's a 40mm stone bench top that comes as standard in the H3, as well as a textured timber cabinetry. All works together very well. And these are all features that you'd expect to find in a much larger home, but as you can see, we've been able to incorporate all these features into a tidy 28 square double storey design. And if you did want something more substantial in size, the Viridian is also available in 33, 39 and 43 squares, and they all share the same wonderful design features. There's even an option to convert the void above the dining room into a fifth bedroom if that's needed. That's what I call clever.